or two ago, we had a pretty good windstorm and it knocked over the privacy fence into the door. Got a little bit of damage here and it broke out the window, but luckily I had some plexiglass left over and I was able to replace it. Uh, but we'll probably end up changing out the door anyway, eventually probably do a wood door that matches the service window, but it works for right now. It looks like seriously a bum hut. <laughs> I'm just finishing up the first coat of this clear coat and then once it's kind of milky white right now but once it dries it'll be clear and then you wait like two hours roughly for it to dry and then I'll come back over and do a second coat you're supposed to do three total coats what's up with the tarps yeah so the trailer doesn't fit in the garage and we didn't have we have this one tarp but it's just a little ghetto, but it's uh, kind of keeping it out of the element so it's not so cold, so it dries better. Keeps the heat in from my heater. It's a whopping 44 degrees in this little Right here it is, yeah. Hut. But outside it's like 30, <laughs> 32, somewhere right there now. But yeah. So the heat will help it dry, right? Yeah, it's supposed to, I mean, the proper temperature to apply this is between 55 and 90 degrees. But we're not going to see 55 degree temperatures probably till March, so... And we got to get it sealed before it snows. It's supposed to snow next week, and, um, yeah. I think this got lower. No, wait. I think you it's got my taller. It's my boots. My boots. <laughs> yeah, it's my boots. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> going to have to get you some ballet flats. Just be barefoot. The barefoot barista? That's like barefoot wine though. Yeah, but better. Yeah, but better. I mean, barefoot wine makes sense because you smash grapes with your feet. You're not, you're not smash, smashing coffee beans, grinding coffee beans with your feet. Why not though? Barefoot barista. That just sounds like a hippie. For sure. Aren't you though? For sure, dude. The coffee hippie. <laughs> For sure, dude, you said. <laughs> okay. What, um, are you, what are you doing? So we... Stained this wood when we were putting in the wood before we put in the lumber. We stained it with a stain slash sealer. So I thought it was going to be good for the elements, but with all the Oregon rain and then the cold weather, it was getting weathered really fast and I could see it was starting to crack. So tell me about the window. Where'd it go? Oh, so yeah, the actual door to the window. We got that door that we put in, we found from the Habitat for Humanity store really cheap and I really liked it but it was an interior like closet door from an old house so even though we had stained it too it wasn't meant for the elements so once the water got to it and then the cold it had layers of plywood that just started peeling up like a finished layer kind of almost like a masonite delaminated it did definitely delaminated so I had to take that off and I thought about um keeping it but I decided and fixing it but I was like no so I, what I did is I just bought another piece of plywood uh, that I stained and sealed. I stained it first and then I'm actually putting this as actually a um, water-based, uh, like a satin crystal clear finish though. So this is more of a hard finish that will protect it from the rain and rain will run off it easier. So that's what I'm doing now. I was just making sure this was completely dried out. I got my heater in here. It's like 20 degrees right now. Um, so I wanna make sure this is stays warm in here because it's supposed to be around 55 degrees or warmer. Um, for this to dry properly so that's what I'm doing now is resealing the service window door is in the garage right now I'm waiting for the final clear coat I put it on the last coat too thick and so it had these milky white spots and so I have to had to sand it down pretty much smooth uh, before putting it on the final coat but I'll show you the finished product in the next video but check us out on Instagram Instagram dot com dot com <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. The links are down below so you can keep uh, up to date with all of that fun stuff. What are you doing? Squirrel. Click the links below for Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date on locations and hours and so forth. Um, we'll see you next time. Start over again. No, why? <laughs> now what are you laughing at? Just because I was like, had a more serious face and now I'm like laughing. And it's just going to be like, me talking all of a sudden.
If you weren't so cute, I'd honk your nose. Shut up. <laughs> this is Anthony with Press On Coffee, and we'll see you in the next video. So what happened? I came in here to do my second coat of clear coat and right as I started, I don't know how, it like slipped out of my hand. I spilled two thirds of my clear coat all over the counter and I was like, oh crap, what do I do? So I like started wiping up with paper towels and like throwing the trash and I was like, oh wait. And I just like wiped it with paper towel and started wiping the shelf because I needed to clear coat it anyway. So as you can see it went all over down here, but the counter's nice well, and shiny. Well, nice and sealed, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh well. Good thing it dries clear. <laughs>